Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Festival of Legends just launched and with Festival of Legends it's a new rewards track and a new tavern pass. So should you buy the Festival of Legends tavern pass? Let's take a look. With the launch of Festival of Legends, a new Tavern Pass will be made available for purchase. It's now available for purchase. It costs 20 euros, more 20 dollars if you live in the United States, offering a festival full of brand new cosmetic rewards and XP boosts. Purchasing the Tavern Pass at any point during the expansion will immediately give you a 10% XP boost that lasts for the rest of the duration of the expansion. Note that that is not retroactive, so if you want to buy the Tavern Pass, you want to buy it as early as possible, because otherwise you will miss out on some of that bonus XP. As you progress along the Tavern Pass during the Festival of Legends expansion, you can earn additional XP boost, the Diamond Heartbreaker Hedonis Legendary Card, the Golden ETC Band Manager Legendary Card, and the Golden Posic Audio Engineer Legendary Card. So Heartbreaker Hedonis, you regularly need to get it from packs. If you get it from packs and you buy the Tavern Pass, once you get the Diamond from the Tavern Pass, you get to re-roll the one that you got from packs, so no legendaries are lost. Golden ETC, Golden Posic, ETC and Posic are both free cards, so you only get the cosmetics out of those, you don't get anything new gameplay wise. Then you get two Golden Crowd Surfer Epic cards, two Signature Heart Drop Epic cards, two Signature Snake Bite Rare cards, and two Signature Hipster Common cards. So those cards, Epic cards, can potentially be useful. It takes a lot of packs to open all the Epic cards, so you're going to get four Epic cards out of this. And then a couple of rares, a couple of commons. Not so important. New cosmetic coin and card back. A hero skin for each class. Okay, so some of those cosmetics. Cosmetics are one of the big reasons to buy the Tavern Pass. And this time, two golden standard packs. That's an offer that has never been there before. Two golden packs. Golden packs are worth around 500 dust each. So they added a fair bit of value to the Tavern Pass. So does that mean that Tavern Pass is now something everyone wants to buy? Not necessarily. If you make optimal use of the Tavern Pass, it is a fairly decent purchase. For 20 euros, the maximum gold that you can gain from the pass is 3300. That would mean that you barely reach level 400 with the pass, which would be level 334 without the pass, but no further. Because obviously, if you play even more than that, then the value of the pass starts to diminish because you could eventually reach level 400 without the pass and then you would get no additional gold from it. In order to reach that typically pretty important one pack is one dollar, that's typically the good value in Hearthstone, from gold alone you would need to reach level 250 with the pass or 209 without the pass so that you would gain 2050 gold from the pass. So it's possible to play so much Hearthstone that the pass loses its value gameplay wise and it's also possible to not play enough Hearthstone to gain value from it just simply from gold. However, the pass included other stuff than gold, other stuff than that XP boost. So the pass gives you that diamond legendary, four epics, and two gold and standard packs. However, the bundles that Hearthstone is generally offering have slightly improved over time, and now this upgrade to Tavern Pass to give those two standard packs is actually only pretty much keeping it in line with other offers, because you can often find an offer for two legendary cards and 20 packs for $20. This sort of bundle offer is, I didn't see it right now in my shop, but it's something that's regularly available during an expansion. And all of that stuff from the pass, just gameplay-wise, is pretty even to those two legendary cards from the regular bundle. So, should you buy the Tavern Pass? Well, if you want the cosmetics, yeah, you want to buy the Tavern Pass. If you're going to play without the Tavern Pass to around that level 209 on the rewards track, and cosmetics don't matter to you, then yeah, it's an okay purchase. If you're going to play to a little bit over 300, but not further than that so that you would reach that 400 with the pass, but you wouldn't go beyond that, then that's one of the best value purchases that you can make in Hearthstone. If you play all the way to 400 anyway, then you only basically buy it for the cosmetics. Or if you don't play all the way to around 200-ish, then yeah, you're also buying it basically for the cosmetics. So those are the reasons that you might want to buy the Tavern Pass. And if you want to buy the Tavern Pass, you probably want to buy it immediately so that you can get those XP rewards going so that you can start earning gold from the Tavern Pass as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.